Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Propulsion Swimming Podcast. This week we don't have a guest for you on the show, because why? Why Dan? Why do we not have a guest on this week's show? Well it's time for the semi-finals, and yeah. we're going to do a massive preview on it. It is. It is time to basically have a rundown of the standout swimmers so far, yep. who to keep an eye on for the semi-finals of the ISL. Yep, the head to heads. The head to heads. Who we think are going to win the matchups and progress to the finals. You like your predictions, so we'll carry on doing that. I do. So far, my massive one at the start of ISL hasn't quite come in, but it's, it's been it's close. It's very close. It is close. <laughs> it's almost and it got looks there. like it's going to be happening, but yeah, you don't know. Exactly. It hasn't happened yet. Um, but to start with, let's kind of mention the guests that we've had on so far to the Propulsion Swimming podcast because it's been a big few weeks. They've been some super guests, haven't they? Yeah. So we started out this podcast looking to promote British swimming and give it a bigger name and a bigger platform to grow and for athletes not just professional athletes but anyone in the world of British swimming to give them row to give, give them, them publicity exactly. coverage absolutely yes. exactly so over the past three weeks we targeted ISL mm-hmm. and we said right we are going to try and speak to up-and-coming British swimmers that was the idea yes and boy did we hit the nail on the head we did. We've had three amazing guests amazing so far. Guests. And they have all done amazingly well. They've all hit PBs. They've up. all hit PBs, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Can't um, ask much more. There's been a few British records, several club records broken yes. by them. Yep, yep, yep. Um, so we can't ask for anything more. And all of them are swimming in the semifinals. All of them, yes. They've all made it to the semifinals for the first time, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, the right New York Breakers, it is their first time. So and of course, Joe Titans Litchfield well. and Abby Wood. And the Titans, it is their first season, and they've got to the semifinals, semifinals as yes. well. Yep. So yes, it's the first time for all of them racing in... Wow, I can't believe I'm saying this about swimming. Knockout swimming. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it's all about. This is what the ISL is about, and it's great. Absolutely awesome. It sounds very American. It it does, let's, yeah. let's be honest, but that is what ISL has been. It has been... Essentially, it's the playoffs now, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a bit like the NCAA format, if anyone doesn't watch it. Give it a look. Give it a look. It is on, what is it on ESPN UK every now and again. I'm assuming so. It's all American broadcast. Yeah, sport, definitely. maybe. Essentially. Um, but that's really fun to watch, and it's all about points rather than times, which... Us viewers at home, we have struggled to grasp at times. But I think we're there now. Semi-finals are here. We're understanding points. We don't really care of them. World records getting broken. The times aren't the focus. No, the commentators do talk about the times very little. But it's all about the placings and Well, the they points. don't come up on the screen, do they? No, only when they finish. And then that's once it comes up for like literally a split second or so. And yeah. then it's all about the points and the jackpot and all the rest of it. Yeah, and we could get into that massively. But what we're going to do is once ISL's over, we're going to do a big review show. A whole review, yeah. A whole review saying our likes, our dislikes, what we hope changes next year, what we hope stays. Mm-hmm. Because there are some big things that we hope stay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, just the, the changes tease. that happened this season. Exactly. I was just going to tease the, the bubble. I actually hope that stays. I really do. It's worked quite well, to be fair. Yeah. And the fact that they don't have to travel, they can train at the same place, mm. and you know the, the time difference has no effect. So yeah, maybe, because that's what Jay was saying. He was like, he actually prefers it being yeah. in the bubble sort of situation. Exactly. So. But let's not get into that too much right now. No, no. Let's talk semi-finals, mm-hmm. because they're here. Two teams have gone home already, so the Aqua Centurions, yes. which is a bit of a shame, because they had one of the strongest men's rosters. I think in they the were, whole they, competition. I don't think they. I think they were in Beeson, weren't they? In the men's yeah, relay, the freestyle relay definitely yeah. were. They had they shaped. They got very close to a few world records in yeah, individuals. Sabo was uh, very very Crazy. good, but unfortunately, used... the female side of it, they lost. I think it was nineteen swimmers due to COVID lockdown that weren't able to attend. A lot of it was from the Italian. Italian, yeah. So, so, so Pellegrini yeah. came in the last round, which was too little, too late. Yeah. Yeah, and she was a little bit off form just because she hasn't. She, yeah, the exactly. rustiness was still there, so so she was still shaking off a bit of rustiness. And that's why she didn't perform as well as she did. Yeah, but... everyone else was up to speed. Yes, and yeah. it was kind of a massive disadvantage. And the other team that's gone home is the DC Trident. Yes, which yeah. they have I some feel bad for swimmers. them because they had some big swims. They are almost the talent of American swimming coming through. So Zach Apple was the big standout name. Yes, yeah, they were. They had um, Jacob Pebley as well, who yeah. also did very well again. But they were just missing a big, big name swimmer. Basically, they lost a few of them. So Cody Miller usually races for them. He decided not to come this year. Yes, and I yeah. think last year they might have had Blake Peroni who transferred he over transferred to Toronto. To, yeah, that's right. So they they kind of lost their big name sprinters. 
Yeah. Um, so they didn't really have their chance of getting any jackpot points. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, and they had a bit of a tough draw with who they were racing. Yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, but hopefully they all come again next year, even stronger. Hopefully stronger. Yes. Definitely. More more swimmers involved. Mm-hmm. And we can't wait to see them again. Yeah. Until next year, definitely. Mm-hmm. It's always good to see them in the uh, in the pool racing. It's always yeah. nice. Okay. So semi final number one. Who's in it? So, ranked number one, if you like, in this semi-final is Energy Standards. So they yep. finished second overall in the regular season. The reigning champs. The reigning champions, of course, yes. Then there's London Raw, Tokyo, and then there's also the New York Breakers as well. Okay. So who do you think, out of those four, is going to progress onto the final? So, I say Energy Standard are nailed on, just because, if anything, ISL has shown us recently how important 50 swims are. Because of the jackpot rule, that is where most of the points are getting made up on the 50s. Absolutely. And when you've got manager on the team, it's a half And then yes. you've got Chad Leclerc, who is suddenly becoming a 50 swimmer out Wait, of nowhere. He, he just won the skins the other day. Yeah. Incredible, so, right? They have so much strength and depth in the 50s. They may not have it in other areas. Mm-hmm. Although I say that they have probably the best 400 freestyler in the, in the world right now. For me, Rapsis is going to be winning the world. Uh, he's going to be winning the uh, Olympic gold. Yeah. Based on what he's doing right now. If he counts, right? If he counts, right. <laughs> it's a bit easier when it's long course. When it's long course, Olympics. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so I'd say energy standard. I don't think we even need to consider it. I think they're through. They've been messing about with the skins, choosing whatever they feel like. Well, you know, there's four matches mm. in in the regular season. I think they've done, they've purposely picked each stroke. Yeah, well, so, they... Just to give everyone a run out. The massive advantage they have is they have the number one and I think the number two ranked. Men's is number one ranked medley relay. Mm. So every time they've raced, they've picked skins. Yes, yeah. And then the number two ranked free, uh, women's medley. medley. Yeah. So the only problem they might have going forward is if Raw, who are na- ranked number one in the women's, if yes. it comes down to skins... Yeah. Raw are going to pick breaststroke, obviously. I would have thought so for Atkinson, yes. And NG Standard do not have a fast female breaststroker. No, that would be the uh, that would be the, the problem only for them. problem I see for them going forward. Probably not in the semi-finals, because before the skins they should pick up enough points. Let's be honest. Yes, yeah. But going into the final, there are what LA Current, Raw, there are some big breaststroke teams left, which could really stuff them. Uh, yes, yeah. I think if in, if we're talking about the semi-final, I don't think they've got any problem progressing. No. I think that when we talk about the final, that comes that we a later episode, I think. But for this episode, they've got no problem qualifying, mm. I don't think. Um, you've got a, a thing with London Raw at the moment. See, I thought they were going to be winning the whole, the whole I ISL. Yeah. That's what I thought. So, I think looking at their swimmers, a lot of their strong British core are in the middle of a massive training block. I think yeah. you can tell by the times they're hitting out, they're not the fastest in the world. Freya Anderson, yeah, she's killing it. She's doing very well, yeah. But the guy side, it looks like they are training hard right now, so the times aren't quite there. And then when you go into this match that we're talking about now, the other teams they're facing, mm. London Raw's big point scorers are up against people who can beat them, which is the problem. So where other teams have weaker matchups? They're, they're weaker as well, if that makes sense. Their strengths are counteracted by other teams' strengths. So, think, for example, um, we look at the men's breaststroke, the short, the, the 50 and the 100 breaststroke. Yes, yeah. Adam Peaty is, without a doubt, their best swimmer. Yes, yeah. I don't think he wins either of those. Well, actually, because he did the skins the other day, didn't he? Mm. And I didn't pick him to make the final, let alone even win it. No, you kind of wrote him off. I thought <laughs> he'd, get, he'd get through the first round, and I thought, oh, that's he's... His, his tarts and turns are just not up to scratch, especially when you've got Dressel in, a, in the pool and Kaseki in the pool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought he's, he's not going to make it. Swim speed, absolutely. He's the fastest swimmer there. But because it's short course, it just it, I, it picks up on his starts and turns mm. so much. But uh, yeah, he, he does pick it up because he's a, he's a fierce competitor. You yeah, can he, see is. How he, he is. He is. But if you, if you think Raw needs a lot of their points, will, or they will be looking for a lot of their points to come from. Let's say Adam Peaty in the breaststroke, mm-hmm. yeah. who is going to... They, they'd hope for a jackpot time because he is faster, but Shimanovic from Energy Standard is perfectly equal to him right now. As of right now at the moment, yeah, so especially that, short course, so yes. That's a dangerous game to, to play. They could lose a lot of points there. Yeah. The, the butterfly Chad's pretty much got, I would have thought, unless you can think of a raw summer. No. 
Okay, not to on compete form. with them anyway. Not on form. No. Nope. Women's side, the backstrokers, they should wipe the floor. And yeah, Kira Toussaint's doing very well. Backstrokers, breaststrokers, women's side, they should wipe the floor with everyone there. Yes, the, yeah. The danger is Showstrom will then take all the points back when it comes to butterfly and freestyle. Yes, it's whether you can prevent her from getting the jackpot points, really. Um, yeah. But she's doing really well at the moment. I mean, she did have an injury, didn't she? I think she had a lower back injury or something. Well, she did, so she and then the next match. round she raced eight events or nine events. And, and then just went mad and was hit 50 points for 100 free. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't think there's anything wrong with her. I think NG Standard have been very smart with who they've rested when. Well, that's the other side of it, because PT didn't race the last match for London Raw. Well, nor did Manadu. And nor did Manadu, so they are, they are resting the big boys. Yeah. So, yeah. so, if we go back to my point, my mm. worry for Raw is their big point scorers aren't going to get the points they need, and you're going to start looking behind you mm. at Tokyo, who have big point scorers in, say, all of the IM races. All of the IMs, yes. They have a big point scorer in the men's backstroke in Erie. Yes, that's true. It it then becomes a game of, oh, we're not going to score many points in this race. They are. In the other races where we should put, score points, we're mm. going to be counteracted by energy standards. So I don't ev- think I don't think Tokyo is going to be a problem for Raw just because Raw, their relay teams are so much stronger than Tokyo, as yes. you see. Okay. And, and I think that's what's going to save them. And Tokyo don't really have... They've got the standout the skins one. just yet. Yeah, they? they've got the standout summers in their disciplines, but when it comes to the overall relays, it's okay, not as strong. I got you. Yeah. I was thinking maybe it's not quite as straightforward as all of these raw fans in the UK think it is going to be. I I just don't think it's. I think it's going to be closer than they think. Yeah. it's not going to be a landslide um, energy in second, London Raw. It's yeah. not going to be a landslide, but I think I think the top two are guaranteed to go through. It's mm. just not going to be as close. It's just where the points get stolen elsewhere. Yes. Because, like I said, Tokyo have some good swimmers. We haven't even touched on the New York Breakers yet. And they have, what, Abby Wood, our guest, in the IM. Yes, yeah. She's now not racing against Margallis. Nope, but she's going to have to compete with Ohashi, who is yeah, uh, exactly. faster. So. <laughs> <laughs> have fun there. Yeah. Um, but they also have Michael Andrew, who looks to be hitting a bit of form. He's now doing some hundreds. Yes, and can't, he's not racing Dressel, which helps. Exactly. For the he did the 100 IM and came second. Yeah. He did the 100 breaststroke, which... Yeah, well, he's able to do every stroke. Yeah, exactly. Really, really well. He's very good. So, again, he's a danger man in the skins and 50s to steal points off other teams. I think that's what... I, I think th- that's what New York Breakers need to go into this semi-final looking at. We're going to steal points off you, basically. Yes. Again, similar with Tokyo, I don't think their team is... Strong enough and deep enough to no, then compete they with have the top two. The two worst relays yes. in ISL, which yeah. is obviously that's a problem. I think that's going to be because the, then you can't pick Achilles heel. You can't yeah. pick skins. There's double points on relays. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So for their target next year, it's it's probably look for some relay relay swimmers and just a little bit of depth because yeah. they have been hitting. They have been winning a lot of races. Oh, they've they got have. some big oh, standout yeah, yeah. performers. It's just maybe the depth below them. It's just, yeah, exactly. Which, exactly right. which is where other teams, so Energy Standard rested Showstrom, they yep. still finished one and two in the 100 fly. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just like, it's just well, that's, incredible that's the difference, depth, isn't it? Yeah, that is the difference. So if we look at semi-final two then. Have we talked enough about semi-final one? Do you reckon? I think so. Oh, possibly. <laughs> How long have we got left? <laughs> semi-final, semi-final two. Yeah, yeah. go on then. So we've got, we've got Calais, Current, Iron and Toronto. Now. Mm. This one's much closer for me. Yeah, I agree with you. Cali have some big scorers, yes. I think... All the other events, other than these big scorers, are wide open. See, I think that Cali are guaranteed to the final. Just because you've got Lily King, you've got Dressel, you've got some Liga. These these swimmers are just going to wipe the floor of everyone. Yeah. That's what I think, anyway. You then have Currents, who have got Ryan Murphy. They've got... um, Tom Shields. Uh, Gastadello, Tom Shields. Or so they've those got swimmers. big point scorers. They've got big point scorers. But then Iron, I think they're the dark horse here. I agree. I yeah. cannot agree with you more. Purely because of Saki, he is mm. going to get, what? Well, he's always up in MVP and he just does 50 and 100 breaststroke. Yep. So yeah. he does basically two events. And well, they he's d- always scoring 50 odd points in a match. Because yes, he they don't want everyone. They don't want, in, in terms of Cali and Currents, they don't want skins to be breaststroke for men. Because that's uh, that's an iron win all day. Well, long. I don't think iron win the relay, which is the problem. Well, that's the other side of it. Yeah, they've got to win the medley relay to then pick the skins. Yeah. Whereas I think current are likely to win 
the at least the men's medley relay. I think they're guaranteed to win that one. They are. Which then Murphy would then win. Which the then skin. Murphy does backstroke, which yeah. is a massive advantage for everyone except for Toronto. Would you say with Shane Ryan? I think he's he's, he's good, Shane Ryan. Mm. Don't get me wrong. God, he's he's, he's not quick. Ryan, yeah, he's not Ryan Murphy, but he's, but he, he he's can, definitely the second best backstroker I can think of there. Yeah, well, it's a thing whether he can do it for three fifties over his skins. Well, he gave it a go, didn't he? But, oh, yeah, yeah. He's already race Murphy, so he's got experience now. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, yeah, Iron, it, like, you've got comma... I can't even say her name. You've got... Renomi Cromwood Yo-Yo. There we go. Thank yeah. you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Saves you. So you've got her, and she she's the same as Showstrom. She races all the 50s, all the 100s. Flying back, And yep. she is going to a get... Flying free, sorry. Flying free. Yeah. Well, she, I think she's done more. She's done loads, and she's been up there with MVP as well. So you have these massive point scorers on Iron. Yeah, you do. So, if you're current and you're Titans, it's tough to call because I I agree, Callie are nailed on. Yes, I really do. Just because of Dressel, just, I'd like he just even Lily dominates. King. Dressel yeah. is next yeah. level. I know yeah. Lily King went what was it thirty matches unbeaten? Oh, something ridiculous. She went thirty like that. races unbeaten, which is scary. So, Callie are through. Current from the form at the start of the meet, I'd say yes. Yeah, coming towards the end of the meet, I think Iron and Titans look dangerous. Do See, I still think current are going to make it through, just because of the. You're Ryan not trying Murphy to make much of a podcast here. But You're just, oh yeah, they're through, they're through, done. That's not what I'm saying. I think I'm saying that their favourites go through, right? But see, Titans, I think they're good, especially when they got uh, mass on the backstroke as well. But oh, I don't yeah, the, think they're the gonna... women's backstrokes. They've um, they got was it Britain as well? A uh, Brit- uh, Bratton, sorry, Bratton. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the women's backstroke, they've got Bratton as well as Kylie Mass. Yes. So yeah. that's a massive point score. It for should them. be. That should be a jack point result for them, actually. One, two, yeah. Yeah, it should be. Um, but you're right. Iron, they're, they're, I think I've said it before, they're, they're going to be the dark horse. They could just snatch it from current. Mm. Yeah. Potentially. I I wonder how good they would be if Katinka Hosu was on form. That was the, something I was going to bring up, actually, because mm. if she was on form. I think they're in. Potentially, yeah, because she should be getting jack point. Jackpot in 200 IM, 200 fly, 200 back. Yes. She'd definitely be giving Kylie Massa and Bratton a run for their money in the 200 Absolutely, back. yeah. It's kind of a shame she's not on form, and we haven't really had it explained. She might just... I know I... some of her training is absolutely nuts. Yeah, I would have thought that she'd be concentrating on Tokyo. Ultimately, one, one as in the, the Olympics, not the team. As in the Olympics, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One last stab at the Olympics, because yeah. this it, is it, like... It's and then last one. afterwards, probably focus on... ISL, ISL, that. Yeah. yeah, for the money side of it. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. With, I think that the Titans are just they're there. I, I, they've got some big swims as well, because Brent Hayden came back this week and he's been on relays for the first two rounds. They let him loose, yeah, on the freestyle individuals, and suddenly he started tearing it up. And he's going forty six points. Yeah, know? ridiculous. And yeah. he's thirty nine. It's yeah. just a whoa, 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 whoa. Well, at the moment, it seems to be good if you're at that sort of age, because Nicholas Santos... Oh, yeah, that's another iron swimmer. He was uh, just a monster in the 50 fly the 50 other day. 50 fly, yeah. Oh, so close to the world yeah, record. Yeah, there, there is a chance in the 50 fly he could jackpot Dressel. Uh, don't know about that. He beat him by a stretch last round. That was he a did. long way. It wasn't quite jackpot. No, he not jackpotted quite. everyone else. Yeah, apart from one swimmer. Yeah, yeah. So, I think he could gets that world record. Could be. I really hope he does. From an iron point of view, I don't think they're winning uh, relays, which means they can't rely on the skins, which means they've got to have their points before the skins. They've got to be ahead of current before skins happen. Yeah, because current are likely to win the relay. The men's side, I would have thought. And then... And then Cali are going to win the, the and female medley. breaststroke and, and backstroke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not really to their strengths, is yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. So, I don't know, it's... Difficult. So I'm going to stand by saying, so the four finalists that we're going to have is Energy, London, Cali, and LA Current. Well, That's what I, their favourites to go I, through, really. I agree. Yeah. With a massive asterisk next to Arn because of their jackpoint scorers. Yes. Yeah. Huge asterisk for me because I think it's a coin flip right now between Current. I think, yeah. Santos is going to be a big... A big factor. Saki. Crumble Yo-Yo is going to be a big factor as well. Saki, of course. So they've got some summers. They could cause an upset. Mm. I think that's the semi-final to watch Let's out see. for. I'm looking forward. It's yeah. going to be a fun weekend of racing. Oh, I yes. I cannot wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm going to block myself away from the world. Just, <laughs> for once, Eyes I glued. am fixed on swimming. How great is this, by the way? That's awesome. Six weeks, what is it, six weeks of swimming? Non-stop. Yeah, what we have now, four or five weeks. We're at four or five weeks. We've got two weeks to go. Yep. I'm going to be slightly lost without ISL, if I'm honest. It's going to be a shame. It's going to be a long wait now until trials, trials, which we haven't even heard any dates of when no. that's going to be happening. So thank you, ISL, for coming up yes. and <laughs> basically saving... It feels like a summer of sport. It feels like this has been the only sport I've watched because it's been so exciting. I've barely watched a football. That makes a change for you. I know. <laughs> no no real football. The rugby hasn't really been happening too much. I've lost interest in that, quite frankly, at the moment. No, I've lost I, um, I've lost American football. I've yeah. just been focusing on ISL. It's just, and it's it's just awesome. really, really good fun. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Um, we've had some amazing guests because of it. And, right, little teaser. We have more to come. We do. We are not done. Just because we're pe- previewing the knockout rounds does not mean we are done. We have, next week, a swimmer for London Raw coming on. We do. We've got lots of swimmers in the pipeline, actually. We do. Huge. It's, uh, huge, it, it's an exciting excited. time for the Propulsion Swimming Podcast. It is. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so if you are interested in hearing more of these, these interviews mm. that we have to come... And if you have previously enjoyed the ones we've done so far, why don't you leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts? What that's going to do is it's going to enable us to grow more. It's going to put us at the top of search engines, not just for swimming, but for sports. And that's what our goal for propulsion swimming is. We are, we want to grow swimming. We want to push it up a level. So a five-star review is really going to help us out. And yeah, please subscribe as well because you don't want to miss out on the uh, the amazing podcast we have next week. It's, it's going to be, be awesome. fun. Yeah, it's, it's going to be, be awesome. a lot of fun. I yes. can't wait to hear inside what is it UK's biggest swimming squad. It is. Well, we've had a look inside um, uh, New York Breakers. We've had a look inside Toronto Titans. Now we're going to go for the big team. Yeah, London Raw. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's an exciting time. So please subscribe. Get in touch with us if you have enjoyed this podcast. Like I said, leave a review. It's really helpful. And we will see you in seven days. And we'll catch you on the next one.